Hello, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most important considerations that you can take when planning your project, and that's your trailers. Now that might seem funny. You probably haven't heard that in a lot of different spheres of influence, a lot of teachings, a lot of training programs, but how you set up your trailer is one of the single most important considerations that you will ever take on your construction project. And so I'll show you a couple of these on this mirror board. This is included in our superintendent mirror board where we share with the industry. But let me say that things like logistics maps, sequence maps, having your tact plan, whiteboards, your roadblock maps throughout the project, your calendars for your six week make ready look ahead, your weekly work plan, and your day plan are all crucial considerations when you're thinking about designing your trailer, your conference room. This right here, I want to go through a couple of these pictures. If I was going to design a conference room for myself as a superintendent, I would make sure that I had two TVs at the front. And so these two TVs that I'm showing you right here, at least I would be able to bring up anything on one to the right visually and on the left I would be able to bring up my schedule or my blue beam maps or anything else that I wanted to bring up. One of my favorite things to do is to bring up the tact plan on one side and the model or the visual graphics on the other. And so every conference room that I would ever want to be a part of, I would have two TVs in the front. Obviously a whiteboard. I love drawing on the whiteboard. The macro level tact plan and the sequence maps, the tax zone maps, and the logistics drawings. Some other things that you might consider are utility boards, utility maps with plexiglass on it, self-perform weekly planner boards, and the like. On the left side of the office, I would definitely have my norm level schedule, my six week make ready look ahead plan with calendars up here at the top. Possibly if I didn't have my calendars, I would make sure that I had a nice little rally cry banner here up at the top. I would have my weekly plan, my pull planning area, and then my day plan. This is where the foremen are able to to craft the plan for the day from the six week make ready look ahead and really go out there and win. Okay, on the right side, I would have my delivery board, my team alignment board, all of my roadblocks from the designer, from the owner. I would have my team coverage schedule and it would clearly show on the right side of the conference room our standard work, our standard scheduling for every logistical system, every teaming system that we have out in the field. And on the back side, I would have my checklist so that as I'm leading a meeting, I can follow my agendas, I can follow my guidelines, I can do teaching on a continual basis. But basically the conference room, and here's a picture of the U shape that I typically like and having the TVs up here in the front. This is one of the single most important things you'll ever create. And I love these pictures here. Look at this TV up here at the front. Look at these desks with plans and with plexiglass. Look at these walls over here with your last planner make ready look ahead planning. Look at the, the scrum that you can have on the walls. This is really where it all starts. If you create a remarkable environment here, you can implement tag plan you can implement the last planner system. You can implement basically your team building and your teaming with your trade partners, that collaboration. And then every other single system will work from then on. And so why is that important? Because we first respect people. We respect people and create that in conference rooms, right? In team meetings. Then we create stability and flow. How do we create stability and flow? It starts in conference rooms and in meetings and with tact plans. And then how do we engage with total participation? We get everybody rallied and collaborating around a plan, committing to a plan and executing a plan together as a team, right? That happens in trailers and in conference rooms. And then we focus on fanatical quality and continuous improvement. How do we implement quality and continuous improvement? That starts in the conference room as well. So I highly recommend you make this one of your top priorities on the project site. As a project leader, on we go.